Hi friends, in this video we see Taylor series which is important question in CRB uh, and uh, GET exam. So, what should we need uh, Taylor series? Uh, yeah, it's uh, clear that uh, every smooth function can be written as an infinite sum of polynomial. Right? So, Taylor series also uh, writing a, a function in terms of polynomial. Let us see that, right? So why we are converting a function into polynomial because polynomials are uh, easy to work with than we are than working with a function right so we convert function into polynomial Taylor series does that only right so the Taylor series for the function at x is equal to a is given by f of x is equal to f of a plus f dash of a by 1 factorial x minus a plus f dash of a if double dash of a divided by 2 factorial into x minus a whole square like that it will go so it is hard to remember uh, such a lengthy equation so that we must simplify like this right so summation n goes to infinity f and a divided by n factorial x minus a whole power n right so here we are writing function f of x at x is equal to a fine okay so here you see if we substitute 0 f power 0 a divided by n factor this n indicates the differentiation order of the differentiation zero thorough differentiation is nothing but no differentiation right so don't think that f of 0 is small it is no differentiation simply f of a by 0 factorial uh, i substitute n f 0 a divided by 0 factorial x minus a 0 so it will become f of a divided by 0 factorial is 1 in, x power 0 is 1, so it is f of a. When you substitute 1, f of 1 a, that is f dash of a divided by 1 factorial into x minus a. Like that it will go. So instead of uh, uh, remembering this much hard equation, you just uh, remember this equation only. That is enough, right? f of x equal to n goes to summation, n goes to infinity, f and a divided by n factorial x minus a whole power n. This is what Taylor's series, right? It converts a function into polynomial, right? Okay, next thing is uh, Maglarin series. Maglarin series, you see in Taylor series, we uh, expand uh, function at x is equal to a. Maglarin series is the limited form of Taylor series where we are expanding function at x is equal to 0. Right, so wherever we find a in Taylor series, we replace with 0. So here we have a, so replace with 0. Here we are having a, so replace with 0. So that is what Maglarin series. Right, so both are very simple only. So fx is equal to n goes to 0 to infinity fn power f of uh, n fn 0 divided by n factorial x power n. Right, so if you expand, otherwise, what you get is f0 by 1 for 0 factorial f10 divided by 1 factorial into x plus f double dash 0 divided by 2 factorial x squared, like that it will go fine so this is what maglarin series right so simple thing both are converting function into polynomial because polynomial are easy to work with okay now we go to problems which have been asked in gate exam and this may be asked in trb also right okay the first question is the taylor series expansion of x sin x divided by x minus pi at x is equal to pi right so what is the question uh, sin x uh, divided by x minus pi at x is equal to pi. So here a is pi, right? Okay, so it is very difficult to uh, expand a Taylor series as it is because the formula we know what is the Taylor series expansion at x is equal to a that is summation n goes to 0 to infinity f and a divided by uh, n factorial x minus a whole power n right so if you find a first order differentiation it is very difficult right second order differentiation like that it will go it is very tedious so what we are going to do is we will change this uh, manipulate this equation and do that right so for that what i am going to do is let me substitute x minus pi that is denominator is equal to y this implies x is equal to uh, y plus pi. Substitute this this value in the given e equation. 
So sin instead of x, you substitute y plus pi. Everything I convert in terms of y. x minus pi is y. That is equal to sin uh, theta plus pi is minus sin theta. So minus sin y divided by y. This I can write as 1 minus 1 over y, y into sin y. Right? So sin y expansion, I know. What is the expansion of sin y that is given by? minus 1 by y. The expansion of sin y is y minus y cube divided by 3 factorial plus y power 5 by 5 factorial. Like that it will go. So, <coughs> it is the uh, what you call uh, expansion of sin y. Okay. So, this is minus, right? So, now you simplify it. This y I bring inside. What will happen if I bring this y inside, it will become minus 1 plus y squared by 3 factorial uh, minus uh, uh, 3 factorial minus uh, y power 4 by 5 factorial, right? So, we know that y is equal to, see, the equation, the given equation in x, so we got in y, so we know y is equal to x minus pi. So, I want answer in x only, right? So, I substitute y is equal to x minus pi. So, minus 1 plus x minus pi whole square divided by 3 factorial minus x minus whole power 4 divided by 5 factorial, right? So, let us see the answer. It is uh, minus 1 plus x minus pi whole square divided by 3 factorial, minus 1 plus 2. So, what is the answer? Minus 1 plus x minus pi whole square, right, plus uh, 3 factorial. So, what is the answer? Option D is a correct answer, right? So, that is a good one, okay? Next. Mm. Any doubt? I think the answer is same. Right. Minus 1 plus x minus pi whole square divided by 3 factorial. Okay. The next question is, uh, let us go to second question. Right. Uh, what is the question asked here is, uh, which of the following functions uh, would have only odd powers of x in its Taylor series expansion about x is equal to 0? So they have given sine and cos, right? So first I write uh, expansion for sine and cos in simple terms. We know sine x can be written as just now I wrote x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus like that it will go. Cos x can be written as 1 plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by factorial. So, when you take instead of x, x cube in cos, it will be, if you take x cube, it will be fully power of even only. x squared power 3 like that, everything will be in the power of even. See, for example, x is, uh, this one means cos x cube will be, everything should be raised to power of 3. So, 1 plus x squared, instead of x, we have x cube. So, like that it will go. x squared 4, uh, Sorry, x power 4, 3 divided by 4 factorial like that. So, 2, 2 into 3, 6, 4 into 3, 12. So, everything will be even. So, when you take cos, surely everything will be even. What is the question? They asked odd powers of x, right? The Taylor series expansion would have odd powers of x. So, this is wrong answer. This is wrong answer, right? So, if you take sin, sin we have x cube they have given, x squared they have given. So, if you substitute x squared, what will happen is x squared power x power 5 squared is 10. So, it is even. Right? Similarly, 7 means 14. So, after that, what will become? Minus x power 7 divided by 7 factorial. Right? If you substitute x squared, it will be 14. So, even. So, this also will produce even. x cube, sin x cube only will produce odd. So, option A is a correct answer. Next question, in the Taylor series expansion of, uh, what do you call, uh, expand, uh, e power x, 
plus sin x about the point x is equal to pi, the coefficient of x minus pi whole squared is. Here they ask the Taylor series coefficient of x minus pi whole squared, right? <coughs> so first we write the Taylor series expansion. f of x is equal to summation n goes to 0 to infinity. fn a divided by n factorial into x minus a whole power n. So expand it. f of a plus uh, what you get is f dash 1 n is equal to 1 f dash a by 1 x minus a 1 plus f double dash a divided by 2 factorial x minus a square what they ask is here x is equal to pi right instead of a we have x is equal, a is equal to pi here right so this only this factor they ask this is the coefficient of x minus pi whole square because a is equal to pi right so what i have to find i double i find f double dash of a by 2 factorial so what is f of x as per the problem f of x is equal to e power x sin x e power x plus sin x fine okay so what i need to do i want f double dash so first i will take f dash of x e power x plus cos x uh, yeah, for, uh, this is a uh, okay. Mm, f of sorry, f double dash of x. This is f double dash of x is equal to e power x minus sin x. What we want is f double dash of a. a is equal to pi. So f double dash of pi is equal to e power pi minus sin pi. That is sin pi 0, so it is e power pi. So, what is my answer? It is, uh, I want this one. So, f double dash of a is e power pi divided by 2 factor. Right? So, that is what my answer. So, let us check it. e power pi divided by 2 factorial. So, 2 factorial is 2. So, that is 0.5 e power pi. Right, so I have answer here 0.5 into exponential pi. Right, so this is the answer for this problem. Next problem is uh, okay, let us see. This is a wonderful question. What is the fourth term in the Taylor series expansion for ln x when a is equal to 2? Sorry, let's change the question a is equal to. Right, so fourth term we have to find fourth term. So what is the Taylor series expansion? F of x is equal to summation n goes to zero to infinity. Uh, f n a divided by n factorial x minus a power n. Fourth term. Fourth term means we have to start from zero. Zero, one, two, three. Fourth term means third. N is equal to three n start from 0. So, n is equal to 3 is the fourth term. So, fourth term equation is uh, what do you call f triple dash a divided by 3 factorial into x minus a power 3. As per the problem, a is equal to 2. Right? So, ln x they have given. So, what is f of x? f of x is ln x. I want third order differentiation. So f double dash of x is equal to 1 by x that is equal to x power minus 1. Sorry, f double dash of x is equal to sorry. Uh, f double dash of x is equal to minus x power minus 2. And I want the third order differentiation. F double dash of x is equal to uh, what do you call? Uh, that is 2 x power minus 3. So, f triple dash of x we got. So, this implies f triple dash of a x is equal to a, a is equal to 2. Okay. 2 is given by 2 into 2 power minus 3. So, we got everything. So, what is the fourth term? f triple dash of a that is 2 into 2 power minus 3 divided by 
3 factorial into x minus 2 whole power 3. So, 3 factorial, what is the thing is 2 into 2 power minus 3 is 1 by 4, right? So, 2 into 8 into 3 factorial is uh, what you call 6 into x minus 2 whole cube. If you simplify 1 by 24 x minus 2 whole cube. This is what uh, fourth term of uh, Taylor series expansion of ln x, right? I hope you understand everything very clearly. If you have any doubt, please ask me in comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.